You are listening to The Thought Leaders Show with the world's cutting edge hottest innovators, influencers, and impact makers today. If you are looking for inspiration and motivation, listen in. Welcome to The Thought Leaders Show. Now, here's your host. Hi, this is Tammy Patzer, and I'm really excited to introduce today's guest, Darren Coleman. Darren is a passionate information technology professional, entrepreneur, and technology author based in Langley, British Columbia, Canada. Currently, he is the president and certified IT administration for Coleman Technologies, which he founded in 1999. Throughout the span of nearly two decades, Darren has acquired extensive expertise in the world of information technology and has directly worked with some of the top real estate franchises in the nation. As a technical specialist in a multitude of areas, his key forte lies in consulting, IT management services, computer security, and more. Darren's avid interest in technology has led to his extensive training and many certifications in areas such as information technology and computer support specialist, certified ethical hacker, and data certified advanced technician. He also possesses his comp Kia A plus and Comp Kia Network Plus qualification and has completed exp- extensive training in Linux administration and configuration. When he isn't immersed in his career, Darren enjoys traveling and spending time outdoors with his family and friends. Most importantly, Darren enjoys nothing more than spending quality time with his lovely wife and children. He and his wife are the proud parents of three beautiful girls. And Darren just returned from a speaking engagement at Harvard Faculty Club for the Harvard Business Expert Forum. And he's the author of two number one best-selling books, Easy Prey, How to Protect Your Business from Data Breach, Cyber Crime, and Employee Fraud. And he's featured in the book, Thought Leaders, Business Expert Forum at Harvard Faculty Club. Wow, Darren, welcome. Thank you, Tammy. Thanks for having me, and thanks for that great introduction. Well, you have such a really phenomenal background, and I love the term certified ethical hacker. (laughs) (laughs) That that makes you stop, but, but that's really an interesting thing, because in the world today, especially you in the book that you're part of um you know we really have to be aware of what's going on in the cyber world so tell me more about who you help yeah well we help um you know any small business owner or manager that's you know tired of dealing with computer problems you know any small business owner or manager that has a network that runs slow or acts crazy or really any business owner that's you know worried about data loss viruses and keeping their network safe from hackers. So what do you think is the biggest issue facing business people today related to their computers? Um, well, the biggest issue today would, would um, be cybercrime, you know, uh, ransomware, uh, hackers, um, you know, that sort of thing. You know, you, you simply, you know, you can't set up your computer and connect it to the Internet and, and never touch it again. You know, that's a surefire way for disaster. You know, Tammy, if you think about it like your car, you know, your car will drive for a long time without any maintenance of any kind. You know, you can even ignore, you know, changing the tires or the oil or, you know, any type of regular maintenance uh, before you end up broken down. Unfortunately, if you wait till your car literally stops running, you're going to incur far more uh, charges, you know, towing and repairs and getting it back on the road, not to mention the hassle of being without your car for that time. And your network, you know, is just like that. You know, the problem, most business owners don't have anyone monitoring or maintaining their network. And, you know, it works fine until some major crash or problem occurs. And then they un- end up with, you know, this downtime and, and it costs them a few thousand dollars to get it back up. Uh, but even then, they might end up losing data that can't be recovered 
Or, you know what, they might end up ruining client relationships because a hacker has accessed uh, their client's credit card data or simply spam them with, you know, a nasty virus from their server. And, of course, you know, the maintenance is going to make their network run a lot more faster and it's going to be more stable. And, you know, they won't get the surprise of failure or other problems near as often. But again, you know, the biggest mistake many business owners make is thinking that everything is running okay now and they don't need to invest a little bit of time or money to keep their network maintained and their data secure. It's interesting that you brought up the the hacking and protecting your clients' information because there have been many cases in the news where big companies have had been hacked into and then of course they've lost millions of dollars because people don't trust them and they actually stop shopping at these different locations or restaurants or stores. So this, this is affecting your bottom line, having your, your computer networks up and running, isn't it? Oh, oh, for sure. You know, as a small business owner, you know, you're always under attack. You know, there's well-funded cyber rings in China and Russia and the Ukraine, and, and they're using sophisticated software to, you know, hack thousands of businesses, you know, just like probably some of the people listening and, and they steal credit cards and customer information. And, uh, you know, don't think because you're small that you're immune to it. You know, big, big companies like uh, Home Depot and JP Morgan. Um, yeah, they're in the news, but you know, the small businesses, you know, they're the ones paying the price every day. Right. And, and, a, and a big company can probably absorb some of it, but when it could actually put a little person out of business if something like that happened. So when people work with you, um, why do you think that most people, when they they choose you, why would they choose you over other people? Why would they become your customer? Yeah, so, you know, we knew that we had to find a better way to deliver regular critical monitoring and maintenance to our clients uh, that allowed us to monitor their networks, you know, 24-7, because this is happening all the time. Uh, but we also knew we had to make it very affordable. So what we've done is we invested in a new technology that allows us to automate a large portion of the maintenance, you know, and the monitoring. We do that for a fraction of the price, and it's far cheaper than you could do on your own. Um, but, you know, it's even cheaper than what our competitors would charge. And um, that's how we came up with this program. We call it the full fixed fee program. And, you know, the, the single biggest benefit to our clients would be peace of mind. You know, they pay one flat monthly fee. And we provide them with a combination of on-site and remote support for their network um, to make sure it's not only just performing at peak performance, but also that your data is secured and protected from, you know, these hackers and viruses and, you know, spyware and spam and hardware failure. And you know what? Even employee sabotage. Um, You know, we make sure that your backups are functioning, that your virus definitions are up to date and constantly being up to date, that, you know, your firewall is configured properly because quite often it's not. And that your server is functioning properly and that it's not about to crash. Wow. It's interesting when you mentioned the employee sabotage, because I imagine that for, you know, you trust these people to come in. And then, of course, with a couple pushes of a button, they could wipe wipe out everything you've got. And so that would be really important that you would have. Um, a backup and everything that's secure so that just some simple thing like that of having somebody want to sabotage you because they're mad at you for some reason, that peace of mind, that is really um, something that is really important. So you actually created a program. So it's just one full fixed fee that this, and they get the that full protection that you provide and that safety net of having everything backed up. Sure, yeah. Ba- basically, we have a pie chart that you know is a bunch of different pieces that are, are required for technology to operate efficiently, and you get the the full pie. You know, we we, we call it uh, you know all bases covered. You know, we basically take the initiative with your network. We do your your vendor management, your professional services, your security management. Um, you know, we even do business cloud hosting and your, your uh, backup and disaster recovery. So we, we try and make sure we have all the bases covered, you know, for our clients. Wow, that's, that, that's really interesting. So what are some of the popular misconceptions about the services that you provide? Right, right. Well, you know, here's an embarrassing and little known fact about my industry. You know, it's not regulated. 
you know, many other professional service industries um, are regulated, which means, you know, anyone can claim that they're a computer repair expert. You know, in fact, a lot of these business owners started because they got fired or laid off from their job and they couldn't find work anywhere else. That means that many of these so-called experts are useless and they make sleazy auto repair shops look like the pinnacle and virtual <laughs> of competence. Um, yeah, you know, auto repair shops, electricians, plumbers, lawyers, uh, doctors, dentists, accountants, you know, they're all heavily regulated uh, to protect the consumer uh, from receiving, you know, poor work or getting ripped off. But uh, the computer industry is highly unregulated and there aren't any laws in existence um, to protect the consumer. So, you know, basically anyone can hang a shingle outside and promote themselves as an expert, even if they're honestly trying to help you, Tammy, and do a good job for you. Their inexperience can cost you dearly in uh, your network speed and performance or in lost or corrupt data. So, you know, we're a little bit different because, you know, we've been around for about 19 years and, you know, myself, like you said, I contributed to some uh, number one selling uh, books on technology. Um, you know, the other thing, you know, is when I hire someone, I make sure all my technicians are uh, fully certified and I personally train them. Right. That's one of the reasons why I wanted, when I introduced you, I wanted everyone to hear about all of, of the extra miles that you've gone with these different certifications because when you're in this business and it's interesting about it not being regulated especially when you think about how important the data is you're and like you said you're actually protecting people's information the, their livelihoods and and sensitive information like credit card information so it, it is interesting that, that it isn't a highly regulated type industry. And that's why it's so important for you as the individual um, person to have that integrity and that transparency that, that's required so that people can trust that you know what you're doing in those certifications with what you have and, of course, what your employees have, is it's really important. So I'm really um, glad that you brought that up because people really need to understand that that it's really about who you are and they behind this company, and, and that's really, really important. So what do you think when there's all of these different people, you know, there's everything from mom and pop operations to... Uh, big corporations. Why do you think that they? Some people don't think they they need the what you have to offer. Right, right. Well, you know, sometimes the client just doesn't see the value in the program, and, and they just don't want to make the commitment. And you know, for these clients, what we do is we allow them to sign up. You know, try us out for three months, and at the end of those three months, if they're not absolutely convinced the service is worth every penny, you know, they can contact us, and we'll issue a complete refund. You know, that way, th there's nothing for them to risk. And and you know, the only reason I do this, Tammy, is because we're very confident that they're going to immediately see the value. Um, but if not, you know, we'll, we'll part friends. And you know, I, I just want to say another thing. You know, we help our clients with our technologies. Um, but we're also helping them w with business because the technology drives the business. So I, I don't, I don't want our clients to think of us as just the guys who come in and fix the computer. You know, we're actually, um, part of their business success as well. Well, that makes a lot of sense. And the fact that, that you, you basically give them that 90 days of, being able to test out the system and if they're not happy, you know, to give a complete refund, that's quite a, a good guarantee. When you work with people, um, if, what would the process be to get started working with you? Yeah, well, basically the, the process is they're, they're either going to reach out to us by phone or, 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 or through our website at colemantechnologies.com. But once we have that initial conversation, we're going to make sure that we're a good fit. You know, we, we want to make sure that we, we can help you. And if we can, what we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to start an onboarding process. And we're going to start gathering all the information that we require in order to make sure that um, that you have as little to none downtime as possible. 
Yeah, that's really important in the world today. You also say that you'll respond to your customers within 90 minutes. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, so we have, um, for our clients, uh, a system for them to get in touch with us should they have any issue. So basically, they can pick up the phone and, and call us. They can send an email into support. We even have um, a little agent that runs on every workstation that we um, maintain that they can just click on the icon in their taskbar and say, you know, hey, guys, computer's not working right. Please connect. And um, with, within minutes, we take over the session on the computer and we fix the problem. So are most of the computers that you work on, are, are they all PCs or are they or do you work with some Mac people, too? Or, or what typically is that scenario? Sure. Yeah. Good question. So the majority of the business computers we maintain would be, you know, Windows based PCs, you know, either Windows 7 or Windows 10 and so on. But, you know, more and more people because of, you know, them having Apple devices, they, they purchase Apple products. And we will provide limited support for the Apple computers. Uh, we actually can monitor and maintain them in the same way we can the Windows computers. Oh, that's cool because I happen to be a Mac person. So really, you actually can uh, connect with your clients virtually. So if they're having some type of a computer program, you can actually uh, go in and fix it right uh, there um, without actually sending a technician to their location. Absolutely. In fact, that's how we do most of um, the service work uh, nowadays. Wow. And and not only that, you know, if you think about it, a lot of times during the day, the employees are working and, you know, we don't want to kick the employees off the computer because now the business owner is suffering a loss in productivity. So with our program, we can even go behind the scenes and work on the computer at the same time um, that the employee is using the computer without kicking them off. And of course, if we can't do that, we can also connect, you know, after hours and on weekends when the computer is not in use. Wow, that's really good. So basically, you make it so that these companies can stay productive even while maintaining their computer back end. So because you don't have to say, oh, sorry, computer's down. You can't do your work now. <laughs> that is very yeah. frustrating. Yeah, cause... you got it. That, that That's exactly how it works. And a lot of the, um, the things we do are proactive. So if we know something's going to fail ahead of time, our system that monitors is going to say, hey, you know what? Uh, this hard drive is going to fail or uh, th this computer doesn't have enough memory. And it's going to tell us, and that way we can go have our quarterly review with, with the business owner or on the spot review and just say, hey, this computer is going to fail. You know, l l Let's come up with a game plan before it happens. Wow, I really like that idea because, again, productivity in the world, that in computers, that's it. Because, for example, if I didn't have my computer working right now, we would not be having this conversation. So the, I rely on my computer every day, and, and I'm just a small business. So think about these multi-million dollar businesses who have hundreds of computers working at all times. That That's really important. So if you were to give um, maybe one or two tips about what a business owner can do today to protect themselves from cybercrime or hacking, what would you say? Sure. Well, number one, I would say know that it's going to happen to you, whether it's happened to you in the past or not at all. You know, you're a sitting duck. It's, it's going to happen at some point because it, it's just so prevalent. But the number one thing that a business owner could do would be to have up to date systems. You know, so the, the latest version of Windows, or the latest version of Mac. So, you know, install the updates when they come out, because usually the attacks are because they're, they're attacking a flaw with, with, within the system itself. So if you keep those up to date, that's going to be most important. Second of all, make sure you have you know, good antivirus on all your computers and have a perimeter firewall to be analyzing all the traffic coming in and out of your network. Those three things are going to help you, but the biggest threat to your business is your employees. So the number one tip I guess I could offer would be employee training. Employee training, that's really that's a really good idea. And when you say that related to computers, is that something that you come in and help with also? We, we come in and, you know, each business is different that we service, but um, 
we, we sort of have sort of more of a one-on-one. So, you know, when we're in a business and we're, you know, doing an onboarding and we, we talk to the secretary, we talk to the president, uh, we have a little bit of a different message depending on who we're talking to. But um, we, we do some basic training to make sure that employees know what to look for. You know, when an email comes in, you know, that they don't open the attachment or they don't click the link. And we always tell our, our customers, if you're ever not sure, that's what you're paying us for. Pick up the phone, give us a call, you know, and uh, we'll, we'll make sure we steer them in the correct direction. Well, th- that gives me a question that I have. For example, often I need to send somebody a- an attachment such as a Word document to fill out. Should I um, avoid that and go to an online form? To um, Would that be a better practice? I, I don't know that it would be a better practice, but you might want to let your customers know ahead of time, hey, I'm sending this Word document, you know, and 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 just so that they know that it's legitimate. A lot of times people send attachments uh, and, and the client now they're so paranoid because they know attachments can contain viruses that they just delete it. So um, if they know ahead of time that it's coming from you, there, there's probably minimal risk. But if you want to make them feel even better, a website form is a great way to gather information um, for you. And it's probably easier for them to fill out because not everyone has Word. You right. know, some people, uh, for instance, when you sent me the document, I, I was on holidays, as you said. I, I was in Hawaii before we talked and, and I, I didn't actually have a computer with me. So I was trying to fill out information from my iPhone and it really wasn't that easy had you right. had a form. It would have been more convenient for the end user for me in the, in the, in this case. Right. Well, that's really good advice, and I appreciate that. So, um, guess what? I just learned something, Darren, so that I can actually um, <laughs> provide better service to my clients. And you know, even though I'm not um, a big, huge company, but that is really great advice about how how to do that and what to look for, because I do know that attachments are very dangerous. So, so that's really good advice. So. So, Darren, if somebody wants to talk to you or get in contact with you, how can they do that? Sure. Okay. Well, if they're local, of course, they can call us at 604-513-9428. But you know what? All our clients, they're not necessarily local. You know, we do work remotely. So you can contact us toll free at 1-800-709-3665. Of course, our website, we have, we have tons of free resources, ebooks, all sorts of different things um, that they might want to check out. So then go to our website at colemantechnologies.com and there's a contact form that they can contact uh, the company or um, they, they can check us out on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, you know, we're, we're everywhere. If you search for Coleman Technologies, uh, we're, we're very big into social media. Uh, you should uh, find us uh, at the top of the search results. Great. Well, I'm definitely going to go to your website and look at all those free resources because um, just in our short conversation, I've I've learned a, a lot about how to protect um, my resources um, you on my computer because I think it's really important. And I learned, of course, the valuable lesson about think about the fact that your uh, end user might not have word or they may be afraid of attachments. So providing that online form could be a, a much um, safer way and make somebody feel more comfortable and maybe even help them fill the form out better. Like you said, you were trying to fill it out using your phone instead of a computer laptop. And believe me, I, I know how difficult that is because uh, I have fat fingers. <laughs> so, right, right. <laughs> so thanks so much. Uh, is there anything else that you'd like to leave the audience with? No, I, I would just like to thank you, uh, Tammy, for um, having me on your show. And uh, if the audience would like to reach out to me, just colemantechnologies.com. And, you know, even if they're not ready to, uh, you know, commit as a customer, but if they just have some questions because they're they're not sure about their current IT, you know, give me a call. You know, I'll give them uh, uh, some advice free of charge, of course. And, um, yeah, colemantechnologies.com. Great. colemantechnologies.com. This is Tammy Patzer. Go make it a beautiful day. You've been listening to The Thought Leaders Show. To get all past shows and to get all future shows, go to thoughtleadersshow.com.